Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to organize your commands within your devices. And I'm going to take an example of using an IP2IR device to control two sky boxes. So I've created my device. If I go into edit predefined commands, first of all I'm going to rename this folder. I'm going to call this IR port 1, which is my sky 1 device. And I'm going to create a new folder called IR port 2, which is my second Sky device. So I've got two folders that I want to import commands into. And this time I'm going to import from an iLearn file, a global cache iLearn file. And I'm going to choose uh, the Sky commands.txt file that I have. But before I do that, I'm going to put in a name prefix, which is Sky1 underscore. I'm now going to import this file and it's going to import these 37 commands into the group IR port 1 sky 1. Yes, and you can see all my commands are now there with the name prefix sky 1 coming out of port 1, which is the 1 colon 1. I'm now going to select the second group, change the prefix to sky 2 underscore, and import the same file. And it's going to import those commands into the second group with the name prefix sky2 because all device commands have to have a unique name. Uh, the problem we have now though is that the commands are still coming out of port 1 so I need to change these commands and the way to do that is by selecting just the port 2 group and do a find and replace. Are you sure? Yes. I'm going to search for 1 colon 1, which is the address of the IR port, and I'm going to replace it with 1 colon 2. Uh, it's just warning me that I'm about to do this. Uh, yes, and it's saying altered 37 commands. So all these commands now have the format send IR 1 colon 2, meaning they're coming out of IR port 2, and the commands in group 1 are all still coming out of port 1. 